So in this video, we're gonna make our own CCTV camera, probably, using the Blink ID platform and ESPI board. Well, you can also use the ESP32 cam board. The code will remain the same, okay? So let's see how to make it. A couple of months ago, I made one project for getting the image as soon as anyone presses the doorbell on your Blink application. Well, that project really worked well. So if you haven't watched that video yet, I will leave the link for that in the cards as well as in the description of this video. So do check it out, okay? So in the comments of that video, many people asked me to stream videos, stream live video using the Blink app. And luckily, Blink do have a video streaming widget built in inside the application. So I was excited like hell to make that project because I too love that idea. So when I tried to run that project using the Blink IT platform, well, it didn't work at first like every other project. But I didn't stop there. I tried many different ways. I tried editing the code, tried many other ways to make that work. But unfortunately, that project didn't work in the end. But recently, when I was scrolling Hexter, I found this which seems the solution of our project. When I went to the article, at that time I realized that why that project was not working before. And the problem was chunked HTTP response. So the default code provided by the Espressive system can easily stream the live video on your web browser, but that won't work with the Blink IoT platform. It's because the widget used in the Blink doesn't support the chunk HTTP response. And well, this guy got a smart solution for this. Now, as you all remember that we were successfully able to send images to the Blink widget. That means this widget can easily display the JPEG images. So what this guy decided, rather than sending the stream that chunk HTTP response, why not to send the MJPEG? Now, MJPEG stands for Motion JPEG, in which we continuously send the JPEG images, which ultimately looks like a video. And guess what? This method actually worked. Now let's observe the code written by this guy and see how it works. So here is the code. I will leave its link in the description. Let's just download it first. Open up this file. It will automatically create a folder of the same name. Now make sure you transfer all this file inside the folder, otherwise this code won't compile. After that, open up the file again. Okay, so first of all, we need to uncomment the ESP32 camera module that we are using. In my case, I'm using this ESPI module, so I will uncomment this line. Now, in case you are using the ESP32 cam board, then you have to uncomment this line. After that, here it says to make a separate header file for providing Wi-Fi credentials. Uh, but I will simply provide them here in this code only by deleting some of the lines. Perfect. Now, let's first upload the code and then we will try to understand it. So, here I will select the right board and port and hit the upload button. Now till the code gets successfully uploaded, make sure you like this video as if you like the video, the YouTube algorithm will come to know that this video is good and worth watching and hence it will try to promote this video automatically to other viewers out there. So make sure you like this video. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded. Now let's open the serial monitor. As you can see, the board got successfully connected to the router and it also got its own local IP address. Now this code has two features. First, to get the still images, which you can get by going into the IP address slash JPEG. As you can see, we got a still image on the web browser. Now, if you're not getting the image, make sure a computer or laptop is connected to the same Wi-Fi network whose credentials you have provided to that ESPI board or ESP32 cam board, okay? Now, the second feature of the code is for live video streaming, which you can get it by going into IP address slash MJPEG slash one. So here, as you can see, we are able to stream the live video from the camera to the computer wirelessly. So everything seems working pretty well till now in your computer. Now let's just see how we can configure this particular live streaming inside the Blink application. So open a Blink application on your smartphone. Now click on new project. I give a project name. I will name it as live streaming. Or select the device as ESP32. And connection type is Wi-Fi. Uh, click on create project that's it uh, the authentication uh, will be sent to your registered email id which i don't think will require for live streaming okay just click on okay now tap on the screen and add the widget called video stream okay now tap on that widget here in the video url you need to enter the url which we use for video streaming which was the ip address slash mjpeg slash one okay so i'll write that ip address as it is Okay, great. Uh, then you don't need to uh, configure any of the thing. J you just need to provide the IP address here. Click on OK. That's it. By this much configuration, you will be able to see the live stream. Let's see this project in action. 
Now make sure your phone is connected with the same Wi-Fi network uh, on which the ESP32 cam is connected, okay? Now click on this play button. As you can see, we are able to stream the live video straight from the camera to our smartphone. Uh, well, there is a bit lag inside the Blink application which was not at all inside the web browser. I don't know the reason of this particular uh, video lagging inside the Blink application, okay? So, I don't know. If you know the uh, reason for this, do let me know in the comments of this video, okay? So yeah, this was all about the project which seems working pretty well inside the local area network. Now, I think we can take it to a wider area network by just port forwarding this link. But when I try to port forward uh, the link using the Geo Wi-Fi router, I do have a Geo Wi-Fi with me, but I tried to port forward in that router, I was not able to forward this port, okay? But in case you know the method of port forwarding using the Geo Wi-Fi using any other router, Router, do let me know in the comments uh, I will definitely try to make a video on port forwarding so that people can you know watch this live streaming from anywhere in this world via internet okay so if you know how to port forward do let me know in the comments I will definitely uh, contact you and will you know discuss and we'll try to make a video on that okay so that's it about the video using this project you can make multiple projects just like if you're using esp32 cam you can attach a lock and well after looking at the video streaming you can unlock the door if you want Next project can be a wireless spy robo in which uh, you can control the robo using a blink cap and simultaneously you can also monitor the live stream uh, using the camera attached to that robot itself okay so you can make a spy robo using this project uh, using this wireless streaming and there are multiple projects which can be made using this so do let me know how you find this project and what you are going to make with it do let me know in the comments and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and now just to wait for my next video then explore learn share with me, Techie SMS.